Hello and welcome to a special interview for The Wire. Can an election be won on a campaign that's polarizing communal and Hindu nationalist, or is that a widely spread but mistaken view? That's one of the key issues that's covered in a book that is formally launched in the first week of April. But today we have exclusive and advanced access to it. Here it is. It's called How India Votes and What It Means. And its author is one of India's most highly regarded sophologists and pollsters, the chairman and managing director of Access My India, Pradeep Gupta. Mr. Gupta, let's start with your claim. Polarization can never be the main reason for an electoral victory. That's a very carefully written sentence. What do you mean by main reason? See, main reason we need to understand. We need to understand how voters vote. How they make their choices. How they make their It is very simple. You have to understand India's demography. In India, there are 70% rural and 30% urban. Those 30% urban are urban. There are also absolute number of 10% poor. So, those 70 and these 10% are the aspirations, expectations, aspirations, from a leader or a political party, वो उनकी livelihood decide करता है। ये 80 percent लोग government की जो social security measures हैं and government के ऊपर उनकी livelihood is depend. So they are very careful while electing a leader. So you are saying this 80 percent who are either rural or poor, yeah, look for what parties are promising to do which will help and improve their lives, right. they don't pay attention to communal or polarizing That's messages. True. That's true. In other words, if you promise a benefit that will change their life, they'll vote for you. Yes. It doesn't matter that you are promising communalism or Muslim antipathy or Hindu temple. That's not an important concern. It's not important for this 80% of people. That's the majority of the country. That's the majority of the country. And generally elections are won or lose barely 3 to 5% vote margin. In fact, in your book, you go one step further and I'll quote you. You say, I will tread cautiously and acknowledge that in some cases a highly polarized poll battle does affect approximately 10% of the seats won. In other words, communal polarizing campaigns only bring you 10% of the seats. What 10% figure kahan se aata hai? 10% figure wahan se aata hai ki yadi aap in real term mein Hindu aur Muslim ki baat kare, to kisi bhi state ke andar 10 se 20% seats aisi hoti hai jahan par ki Muslim aur Hindu ki population by and large barabar hai ya decisive hai. But unhi 10% seaton pe yadi asar padega polarization ka to keval wahi padega, baaki kahin nahi padega. In other words, the effect of polarization on how people votes will only happen in seats where the population between Hindus and Muslims is roughly the same and yeah. that's roughly 10% of the seats. Right, that's true. So when parties campaign along communal lines, polarizing lines, Hindu national lines, they're forgetting that this will only work in 10% of the seats. They, current, they are not forgetting. In fact, there is something called substance. Ek product ko aap dhyan mein de. To ek product mein apne aap mein dam hota hai aur ek uski marketing hoti hai. So marketing is something jo ki asani se sabko samaj mein aaye. It's just that mahol banana. But unless there is a substance, wo marketing kaam nahi aayegi. You're making a very interesting distinction between substance and marketing. In fact, you make that distinction in your book as well. Aap ye likhte hain apni kitab mein. Communalism, hate speech and polarized campaigns sure create an atmosphere but make no big impact. Not at all. This is what I want to question. How can you claim the atmosphere does not determine the impact? The it, atmosphere surely will condition how people vote. The, how again and again I will tell you that people vote on their own needs. If of a certain section of society ki jarurat ye hai ki mera majhab kaun sa hai, main Hindu hoon ya Musalman hoon, to it will definitely impact him. But my belief and my study over a period of time... Is that's only 10%? It's only 10%. This is a belief that leads you to the 10% figure or do you have any basis for saying it's only 10% beyond the fact that there are only 10% constituencies where the population is roughly... One is, of course, the population and second is the... See, you understand that the 100 vote 
डब्बे के अंदर मशीन के अंदर आते हैं वो सौ कौन है उसमें से थर्टी थ्री तो कौन है वो भी समझना जरूरी है जो वोट करने नहीं आए तो वो जो सौ आते हैं उसमें सेवेंटी परसेंट रूरल और अर्बन के जो दस एब्सोलूट दस परसेंट विच इज़ वन थर्ड ऑफ अर्बन पॉपुलेशन विच कॉन्स्टिट्यूट टेन परसेंट ऑफ एब्सोलूट वोट तो अस्सी वोट जो हैं उनकी जो ज़रूरतें हैं उनकी जो एक्सपेक्टेशंस हैं उनको इससे मतलब ही नहीं बनता कि मैं हिंदू हूँ कि मुसलमान हूँ कि नेता कौन होने so वाला कौन यू आर कमिंग टू दिस कंक्लूजन बोथ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ कंस्टिट्यूंसीज वे हिंदूज एंड मुस्लिम इक्वल बट ऑल्सो ऑन एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन द डेमोग्राफी कंस्ट्रक्ट Indian construct. The Indian construct. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can quarrel with that. Let's take the example of the general election of 2019. In North and Western India, Mr. Modi fought a campaign that was communal, that was polarizing, that was Hindu national, and as a result, he ended up with 86% of seats in the North, 88 in the West. In East and South India. The campaign was nowhere near as polarizing or communal. He only got 48 percent of seats in the east, just 23 percent in the south. Doesn't that show that what you call atmosphere actually affected the way people vote? This atmosphere in the north and in the west led to 86 and 88 percent seats. पहले तो मैं आपकी बात से बिल्कुल भी एग्री नहीं हूँ नॉट इवन वन परसेंट की जो 19 का बीजेपी या मोदी जी का जो इलेक्शन कैंपेन था वो नॉर्थ और वेस्ट इंडिया में अलग था और साउथ और ईस्ट इंडिया में अलग था उस, बा, a... उस बात में मैं आपके साथ लड़ूंगा नहीं बट फॉर दी ऑडियंस आई विल पॉइंट आउट कि आप भूल जा रहे हैं Six cases were brought to the election commission alleging that Mr. Modi had breached the code of conduct. More importantly. I give you just one example. When Rahul Gandhi chose to stand from Wayanad, Mr. Modi went out of his way to say that Rahul had deliberately chosen a constituency where Mr. Modi claimed that in fact minorities were in a majority because Rahul was running away from Hindu voters. That was clear communalization. But let's not quarrel on that. <laughs> Come back to the facts. The important fact is this: he won 86 percent of the seats in the north, 88 percent in the west, and I'm saying that what you dismiss as atmosphere. Actually determined the vote, and I'm saying communalism and polarization brought results here. Karan, uh, any repeat victory. Take my words. Repeat. When you repeat the government, it can only be the one reason. Only one reason. It can be any victory for that matter. Be it the even I am saying left government Jyoti Basu's repeated victories, or Navin Patnaik's. Five consecutive term repeated victory, or general election BJP repeated victory in 14 and then in 19 actually they repeated is purely based on the performance of the incumbent government. Trust me and take my word. I'll take your word that repeat victories are a sign that the government performed and therefore voters are voting in terms of performance. However, yes. However, yeah. why then? You have Mr. Modi winning 86 and 88 percent in the north and west, but I'm only no wait, but only 48 in the east and 23 in the south. Presumably, he performed equally all over the country, but he does very well in the north and west, very poorly in the south, and that's because the communalism was so apparent in the north and west. It was a different campaign in the south. He wasn't communal in his appeal, and therefore he didn't get the same result in the south. Not at all. See, BJP traditionally very strong in north and west. We should accept and acknowledge this. When I say uh, Madhya Pradesh or Gujarat or Rajasthan or uh, Uttar Pradesh, traditionally they have been very strong. And traditionally, eastern and southern India, where the regional parties are very strong, not even Congress is not there. When it comes to southern India, we Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, and coming to the eastern India, which is largely Bengal, Odisha, and uh, Assam. So, you are saying regional parties are very strong. So, you are saying that in the east or south, mein, the BJP didn't do well. Not because the campaign was not communal, but because it lacks infrastructure, it lacks groundwork, it isn't a strong party in these areas. No, you are forgetting one more thing. You are looking at it from which angle? You are looking at it. You are saying that in the East, the BJP has done very well. It has not done well. It has done very well. 
they had only two seats in west bengal and now in 19 they won 18 seats okay in odisha they had not uh, one seat only and they won eight seats and that is probably because the communal nature of the campaign in bengal appealed to hindus in particular put off muslims it's not because the bjp had performed in bengal the bjp has no performance in bengal to claim your point actually proves my argument if it did well in bengal it's because the communal polarizing appeal worked remember 28% of Bengal is Muslim, you can easily turn Hindus against them and that is precisely what Mr. Amit Shah and Mr. Modi were doing in their campaigns. I don't agree with this. Communalism is only 10 to 20% in any victory okay. or defeat. I keep on repeating this. Odisha, Odisha for that matter, see, it, it delivery which matters. It's why, very why hard to make Odisha communal because Odisha hardly has a Muslim <laughs> population worth talking about. The BJP tried it much earlier when Naveen Patnaik broke with them in 2009 when it was attacking Christians. Do you remember? Yeah. It attempted it then. It hasn't done it since then. Let me give you another example because basically we're talking about whether communal polarizing Hindu national campaigns deliver results or whether it's promises to help the needs, the real needs of the people that delivers results. That's the debate we're having. Right. Take the example of the three states that had elections in December 2018, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh. Right. Those campaigns were fought on bread and butter issues and the BJP lost all three states. Five months later, when the campaign was communal, polarizing, Hindu national and quite clearly anti-Muslim, the BJP swept all three states. This is where I say to you, the mahal or the atmosphere determined the outcome. You're dismissing mahal as simply packaging. I'm saying this packaging influenced the way people vote. See, when it comes to these three states, three states ki baat kare, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh. Raj Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh mein BJP ki 15 saal purani sarkar thi, to anti-incumbency bound to happen. And one other thing I will tell you that state issues and voters' ki jo choices are very different. Hoti hai. National issues, national voters' ki expectations are totally different. Pradeep Ji, I will tell you one thing. If BJP in December 2018 in Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh on anti-incumbency basis, then after 5 months, the anti-incumbency didn't forget so much. After 5 months, they swept the state. They, All three. That is because of the sheer delivery of central government of 14. They no. want to and there is no alternate also. Why is the See, sheer delivery of the central government in 2014 was so important? Why did the same party lose in 2018? That's the same thing. They lost in December. Or the May May Jeet Jeet what and I'm the saying. difference is the communal campaign. No, not at all. That's the that's what I'm making a point. State government ki 15 saal ki Madhya Pradesh Chhattisgarh ke andar a strong anti incumbency hai. And I do agree there was a non performance issue of Rajasthan government and also the nature of Rajasthan. Every five years they change the government. Look at Chhattisgarh. In yeah. December 2018, the BJP lost by. Two thirds, if not more. More than that. There you are. And suddenly, five months later, they win practically two thirds of the Lok Sabha that, seats. That's what I'm saying. Anti incumbency <laughs> doesn't disappear and transform so quickly. What mattered and what changed was the communal nature of Mr. Modi's no, appeal. No, not at all. Again, now I'm adding to your these three states at the Delhi government also. Delhi BJP swept all seven seats in Lok Sabha and see, after uh, one year or so, they lost very badly to Amadmi party because the issues are different, needs are different and people see who is right place to address their, their needs and they decide okay. and elect the leader. Let me then put this to you. If yeah. you are so convinced that a polarized campaign, a communal campaign, a Hindu national campaign does not win elections, then tell me this. What is going to happen in Bengal? Because the BJP, as you and I speak, is fighting the most communal campaign we've seen in India in recent times in Bengal. So, see, Karan, are they going is, to lose? No, no. I, what I am trying to tell you, when you continuously emphasis on the communal campaigning, you should see the reality in real numbers. For example, no, no, for example, Bengal ka a, Bengal ka Bengal ka Bengal pe For example, if the campaign or the speech 
is for one hour, I think only five minutes, they may use this communalism as per your this thing, but you are ignoring those 55 minutes as against five minutes. Let me tell you this. What matters is the way the speech is covered by the media. And secondly, what matters is the way the speech is remembered by the people. And when a yogi Adityanath says, Mamta is scared of Jai Shri Ram. When, let's be honest, Amit Shah says, right, that people who come from across the border are termites. The message is far stronger than the remaining 50 minutes of the speech. So I ask you basis. We have never seen, at least not in my living memory, a campaign so communal, so polarizing, so Hindu national as the one the BJP is presently waging in Bengal. So I ask you this. If you are me that communism does not win elections, what will be the outcome in Bengal? No, no. I am to Bengal and I am going to talk with you all. Please, no, if, Bengal if, no, I Bengal. Specifically Bengal. Bengal ka. If I am a leader and I am and different section of society and people is going to elect me, I in my campaign, I have to address all. No doubt, but, all. Uh, no doubt. But that's not the question that's I asked you. that's where I am saying. But Pradeep ji, that's not the question I asked you. You are saying politicians have different messages for different people and they manage to find a way of saying different things at the same time. Right. But I'm not asking you that. You tell me. Your point is that a communal campaign only affects 10% of the That's seat. what I'm saying. In which case, I'm asking you this, we are seeing the most communal campaign imaginable in Bengal. So who will win in Bengal? Mein? BJP or Mamta? You tell me about Bengal. Tell me about Bengal. I'm telling Bengal. I'm telling you about Bengal. Ka bilkul bata bata rahun, bengal is a very good time in this time. Dynamics of election. वो क्या है मैं आपको बताता हूँ नहीं नहीं dynamics ना बताएं मुझे ये बताएं कि जीतेगा कौन नहीं जीतेगा this is a test of your thesis if your thesis is correct that My communal thesis, campaigns only affect 10% of the votes that's what I am saying the because, rest is in terms of delivery be, then who's going to win because, because it Modi matters, has not delivered anything in Bengal because communalism or dharma or religion or jati kewal 10 to 20% logon ko matter karta hai aur isiliye wo campaign mein wo bolte hain aur but 80% logon ke liye delivery matter karti hai to to isliye mere sawal ka jawab dijiyega kaun jeetega Bengal mein Bengal ke andar kaun jeetega ye pata laga pana mushkil kyon hai कि दोनों सी द दोनों हु हु इज इन द कांटेस्ट प्रैक्टिकली मोदी एंड ममता दादा एंड दीदी हु इज दादा दादा नो नो वी डोंट नीड टू गो इनटू दैट वी नो दैट लुक आई एम आस्किंग अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन प्रदीप जी इफ योर थीसिस इज करेक्ट राइट दैट कम्युनिज्म पोलराइजेशन ओनली डिलीवर्स 10% ऑफ द सीट्स देन क्लियरली मिस्टर मोदी कांट विन बंगाल हाउएवर हाउएवर इफ मिस्टर मोदी डज विन बंगाल एंड मेनी थिंक ही विल देन योर थीसिस इज रॉन्ग my thesis because is Mr. Modi has no results to show in Bengal at all. The problem is that ki you are only focusing and your mind only going to the one point of it and ignoring nine point of the total ten. Okay, let me put it like this. If you are right that communalism and polarization do not deliver election victories, then it follows that Modi and Shah, who these days seem to spend almost their entire time whipping up either communal frenzies or nationalist frenzies, don't realize that this is not going to produce the result they want. In other words, they don't understand what you're saying. They're making a terrible mistake because that follows from your argument that they're doing this wrong. No, absolutely not. They're looking at them from which lens. The problem is that I have 10 subjects, but I'm talking about 10 subjects. The BJP is talking about 10 subjects, but you're looking at one subject. You're leaving nothing. There's no mistake in that. 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 उसमें आप कौन से लेंस से उसको देखना चाहते हैं? If your lens is red, you are seeing only red. You know what I'm saying to you? I'm saying what you consider atmosphere and packaging, right? But not substance, actually influences people so strongly it determines how they vote. Yes, when there is no communalism and no polarization, people vote in terms of their needs and what parties are offering them. Right. But when communalism changes the atmosphere, when hyper-nationalism changes the atmosphere, then people begin to forget their immediate needs and believe they're voting in terms of a higher calling or vision, and that's where the atmosphere becomes important. That's why Modi and Shah go on and on about communal issues. Aap 
उसको दूसरे तरीके से मैं समझाने की कोशिश करता हूँ एक किसी भी शहर या किसी भी कंस्टिट्यूंसी या किसी भी स्टेट के अंदर कितने मंदिर है मस्जिद है नंबर्स वो देख लीजिए और कितने स्कूल्स हैं वो देख लीजिए व्हाट इज़ मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट मंदिर मस्जिद और द नंबर ऑफ स्कूल नंबर ऑफ राशन दुकान एंड यू आर ट्राइंग टू आई मीन आई एम नॉट सेंग यू आर ट्राइंग आई एम सेंग यू आर इग्नोरिंग द वेरी बेसिक्स वॉट डू यू मेंट फॉर for any government for that matter unless you perform this has no meaning no relevance i take your point no Ra meaning no i relevance. take your point rational voters particularly poor particularly rural will vote in terms of what they get right get in terms of their needs definitely not in terms of a mahal or an atmosphere sure. created sure. by communalism by nationalism by polarization right. that's the rational thing to do yes however what i'm saying is if the atmosphere is so dominant as happened in 2019 after pulwama and balakot then people forget their rational needs and get swept by this nationalist communalist polarized atmosphere that's what you don't seem to accept that's the point i'm that's making that's what i'm trying to tell you you are not accepting i'll tell you another example very different and very simple when a straight one to understand what matters where world cup cricket match of india and pakistan highest ever trp in indian television system highest which is 20% roughly 20% highest what is mean trp you are from the television industry it means 20% of total universe watch or witness that match right 80% haven so what you are seeing on a television or mahol what you are saying or the packaging i am referring to is only 20% okay. 80% people doesn't care what you are saying about hindu or muslim what they care is what i get I, what I, is my status of road electricity water education health law and order inflation unemployment okay. these are the matters i i, I accept the point you are making that at a rational moment in time people will vote in terms of whether they're getting water electricity housing roads what is inflation have they got jobs at a rational time that's what matters yes i'm saying that you have also irrational moments when sweeps happen but pulama balakot created one such moment the whole object behind Mr Modi and Mr Shah's rhetoric is to keep creating that mahal cuz it will make people forget their needs and vote in terms of a mahal but let's get out of that bengal will in a sense determine whether you're right or i'm right because that in a sense will be the first test let's come to a second claim you make in your book cuz i think it's an equally important claim you say and i'm quoting you demonetization worked like a dream for modi now as far as i can tell and i've read your book thoroughly yeah you're asserting this in terms of anecdotes you have no proof of this in your book at all <laughs> i see first you need to understand demo or note bandi ko aap kis nazariye se dekh rahe hain if you talk about election or economy these are the two I'm different i'm talking about election election so note bandi when it comes to elections has done phenomenally good For in favor of of BJP. Your book does not have any credible proof of this. It's only anecdotes that you you use. I am giving you, We have this note Bandi declared in 8 November 2016, and after four months there was a UP election. And naturally, as a part of our job, we Every time when we have gone and asked people कि आपको नोटबंदी को आप कैसे देखते हैं कैन यू ट्रस्ट सिक्सटी सेवन परसेंट फिफ्टी सेवन आई एम कमिंग टू दैट फिफ्टी आई वॉज मेकिंग समराइज रिमार्क्स फिफ्टी सेवन एब्सलूट नंबर से वेरी गुड एंड हार्डली ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी परसेंट से नो दिस इज माफ करेगा प्रदीप जी I have your book in front of me you're quoting a survey done only in UP not nationwide it's only a UP survey That's what I refer it's to It's on page 105 at the end of chapter 6 and hang on a second This is how you write about it 57% 57 not yeah. 67 said good decision not very good good decision 30% said bad decision 11% said no impact 2% said undecided Let me tell you something. I'm saying 67% no, not 67. is not against no, it. No, 57, not 67. I'm saying 57 plus 10%. They are not impacted no, no, at no, all. No, no, no. Have a second. The important thing is this. 
a 57% saying good decision yes. is not clinching and is not suggestive of it working like a dream. You use the word it works <laughs> like a dream. I'm saying to you it didn't. You use, a second thing you do in your book is you say, UP ka natija dekho. UP was won because of demonetization. Let me tell you this. If UP was won because of demonetization, why was Punjab, why was Goa, why was Manipur lost? It happened at exactly the same time. Why did demonetization work in See, UP, not here? That's what I'm saying. Punjab, there was anti-incumbency and that to Badal government. There is nothing to do with the BJP there, hardly any player. In Manipur also, in Manipur also, BJP was number one party. You know, and when it comes to Goa, Goa Manipur BJP was not number one party. No, no, I am saying there the was number a, one party was Congress by a huge was a margin. Hung, there was a hung assembly in Manipur, and BJP could beg the government. That's the different issue. So they didn't that, win that, it. That's what I'm. And I'm they not didn't saying win Goa. Been and they didn't I'm, win I'm Goa. I'm not saying they have won it. So I'm saying to you, that if demonetization can win Uttarakhand and UP, how come demonetization failed to win Punjab, Manipur, and Goa? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. BJP has hardly any base in Punjab and Manipur. And I Hang on a second. BJP has regularly been winning Punjab and they fought, by the way, in alliance yeah, with Sad. They didn't fight on their own. That's what I'm saying. In Punjab, BJP, there are few states where BJP has not. I mean, no roads are no base at Pradeep all. Like Ji, Tamil Nadu, listen, Andhra Pradesh, Punjab. The truth is this. You do have this one solitary survey result on page 105 at the end of chapter 6, which I have said is not clinching. It only shows 57% liked it. The truth is, for the rest of the time in your book, you use anecdotes to prove your point. I'll read one of them to you. Yeah. You say, the move worried those who had stacks of cash, but the underprivileged stood on the fringes gleefully watching the plight of the haves. That may be true for a handful of people, you can't claim it's true of the majority. You have I, no reason to say I, so. Karan, I am failed to understand when, as you said, 57% people are happy and 30% people are una unhappy. And you are, you are, and you 11 are happy. said no impact. You are and two happy. said undecided. No, you are saying that. You are saying 30% people is better than 50% No, I'm not saying that at all. That's what you're saying. No, I'm saying... One third of people is unhappy, two thirds is happy. What do you make out of the system? I'm questioning the word you used. Your word was demonetization worked like a dream. Yes. 57% is not a dream. 57% as against 30% is two third and one third, my dear. No, hang on a second. It's 57% versus 43%. Because the 43% said it either had no impact on their lives or it wasn't good or that's they undecided. Where, if, even if it is if 51%, it like, that's where you get the majority. Pradeep G, if it worked like a dream, it would have worked like a dream across the country, dream, not just in UP. I'm saying, uh, Karan, dream... Have, no, no, the have-nots are the majority in Punjab. The have-nots are the majority in Manipur. They are the majority in Goa. Dream. They would have voted for BJP if suddenly they were gleeful, as you say. Dream when you say the dream when I am saying I am referring to the 325 seats won by BJP out of 400. You let me meaning let, what, what is the me, meaning of me, 325 let me, seats? Let me quote you to prove to you that 57 doesn't justify what you said. The note ban had a far reaching impact, a far reaching impact on the poor of the country who began looking at Modi as the one championing the cause of the less privileged and striking at the rich and their ill gotten wealth. If that's how the poor were seeing Modi, it should have happened across the country. It should have that's happened what in happened Punjab. In 19. Uh, that's no. what happened in 19. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. You use UP as an example to claim demonetization was a dream result for Modi because the poor began to see him as a champion. How come the poor in Punjab didn't? The poor in Manipur didn't? <laughs> the poor in Goa didn't? That's what How come I'm they saying. Didn't? That's what I'm saying. Elections are never won or lose by single reason or, you know, belief. There are multiple belief. The biggest you need to single out and see what works I'll well. I'll tell you the biggest reason why Modi won in UP. It's not <laughs> demonetization as you're suggesting. It's communalism. Look, let me give me three facts. Then just why three. they have not won for last 20 years in Uttar Pradesh? Maaf kariya. Main aapko, because it was a different party earlier. Atal Bihari Vajpayee's party was not communal. It was not majoritarian. It was not polarizing in the way Modi's party is. That's the difference. 2004, Atal Bihari ji departed from BJP. 
2004 after losing the and the BJP election. only comes back to power with the Modi who makes it a different party. The communal appeal, the uh, the polarizing appeal is much. Let me let's let's take UP as an example. I'll explain why they won in UP. I'll give you three reasons. Number one. In a state with the 20% Muslim population, not a single Muslim candidate was put up by the BJP. That message went across. Number two, one of the most prominent campaigners who ended up as chief minister was a Hindu priest with orange robes and earrings. Everyone could see this is a Hindu priest and a Hindu message. And finally, let me quote to you what BJP candidates were saying. This is the clincher. Banwari Lal Singhal. The way Muslim population is increasing, the existence of Hindus is in danger. Jaswant Yadav, if you are a Hindu, vote for me. If you are a Muslim, vote for Congress. Dharamveel Singhal, their people are increasing. It's not a lie. No one except Muslims will be bothered. That's why they were not demon. That's what I'm saying again and again. What people and leaders say doesn't matter. It what, does. That's what, what I'm no, saying. No, it doesn't at all. That, it doesn't at all. If I tell you, I am giving you one lakh rupees. Do you believe me? Unless I give you. You can't. I, or I can abuse you for like, like anything. I, 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 what does it or, mean? Or, 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 you're forgetting that in that book, what did you You're talking about the promise about putting 15 lakh in everyone's khata as a result <laughs> of the black money he would bring back. And you know what you write in your book? That's Unfortunately, the... I don't have the quotation here, but you write, even though he didn't deliver on the 15 lakhs, demonetization yeah, made hope, people hope, feel hope, good. Hope. Ye, ye hui baat hai. You have no evidence to back it up. <laughs> I have full of evidence with me but for hai, all this. Hai. Kitab ke andar bhi hai. Nahi hai. Hai. Puri no, no, hai. Hai. Do, see, what is evidence is, see, Pradeep Gupta is saying nothing. Whatever I say or whatever I project, the figure for is based out of people what they say. Haan, and this is anecdotal as I said, not factual. I said that your whole case that demonetization worked like a dream is anecdotally established, not established on fact. Other this than, is the fact. Other than that one cap, uh, survey in UP where the 57% doesn't suggest a dream-like result. Ne, even in, even, uh, see, I, I have I didn't say that ki only in UP 57%. We have done, of course, the survey but in, all five, in, all, in all five states. But there are other issues and factors which is but, 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 you but know, deeply, deciding. I'm like going, I, I, I don't deny that you did surveys in other states. I'm going by what's in your book. That's is what Qatar I'm saying. Mein, there is only the UP survey and the rest of the so-called proof to establish demon as a dream is anecdotal. It's not factual. I am telling you the fact is not only in UP or these five states during that time, we have conducted survey nationwide. But Kitab mein nahi likha Kitab mein. is something uh, on a particular subject I am referring to and that time okay. the UP election was there and how BJP could win 325 seats. Are you saying or suggesting Communalism or Hindu is the agenda of BJP now. It wasn't there when the Alkrishna Advani ji was there. Yes. Yes. And see the result. Please wait for it. Yes. Have you forgotten that the BJP came up with the vision statement in 2004? They lost that election. Yeah. But in that vision statement, they deliberately moved away from the Ram Temple. They deliberately moved away from Uniform Civil Code. They deliberately moved away from Article 370. It's there in the vision statement. And the yatra that Mr. Advani took before that election of 2004 from South India to the North, he repeatedly said so. So yes, it's a different BJP under Modi. Communalism and polarization is the symbol of this BJP, it wasn't of Advani and Vajpayee. Under Modi, the the difference between Atal Bihari ji and Modi, the apart from this, uh, whatever you are saying, communalism and all that, I don't buy this argument. But the difference it's is factual. the Modi had a proven track record, proven track record of Gujarat, of Gujarat before contesting the national election let's not, as Prime Minister Let's candidate. not get into Gujarat because although I don't deny Mr. Modi did good work in Gujarat, you can't forget the highly communal nature of his campaigns in Gujarat. Mia Musharraf, Ham Panch Hamare Pachis, right? George Michael Lingdo, 
You can't forget the way Mr. Modi deliberately I'm, communalized every election. I am not trying to forget anything or rather I don't look at this. I look at what people are saying. I is, least bother about what leaders are saying. We've That's the discussed, difference. That's we've, the difference. We've discussed the two issues we've talked about at yeah. great length. There's one more I want to take up very, very briefly because I yeah. think it's a particularly yeah. interesting one. You write, and I'm quoting you, a massive bustling public meeting is not indicative of a candidate's bright prospects. The rally's strength or success has no bearing whatsoever on how those same voters will vote. Yes. Now, this is very interesting because if you're right, it means the time and effort and money that politicians put into creating massive rallies is actually a waste of time. That's a, again, uh, see, they have to communicate with the people. That's true. And really is one of the, you know, various means available to them. But to you're saying it doesn't, you see, there is two types of communication. Communication, which works because people respond and communication, which doesn't matter. Now you're saying the rallies don't matter. People don't vote according to their no, presence no. at the rally. That's what I'm saying. It is not important. What is important is the delivery at the end of the so day. My voice is carrying on. Isbar, I'm on your side. I'm yeah. saying to you that if you are right, and I'm not denying you're right, People who spend money and effort creating big rallies are wasting their money and effort. It's not waste. They need to communicate. They need to communicate. I am all I am saying. You again. I am telling you, the people who has come to attend the rally, they come mostly for the three F. What is three F? Fun, fair, fund. Tamasha ke liye aare. Tamasha ke liye na picnic ke liye. Spectacle ke liye aare. Spectacle ke liye aare. Ha, maje ke liye aare. Maje ke liye aare. Tamasha thoda sa different word hai, but maje ke liye aare. Maja is पैसे भी मिल गए घूमने भी मिल गया खाना भी मिल गया पिकनिक हो गया उनका ये ड्रीम होता है। बिल्कुल आई एम ग्रीन विद यू और उसका ये भी मतलब हुआ कि जो पॉलिटिशियंस कह रहे हैं जब स्पीच बनाते हैं कोई सुन नहीं रहा सुन नहीं रहा आप उसको दूसरे तरीके से आप उसको समझिए ना सर सर उसको आप समझिए कि सिर्फ जो सामने बैठा हुआ आदमी आज के ज़माने में सुन नहीं रहा है उससे ज़्यादा टेलीविज़न के ऊपर सारा टेलीकास्ट ब्रॉडकास्ट हो रहा है एक बार सुन तो ये ना यू दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग जब मैं आपको कॉम्युनिज्म की बात कह रहा था एंड आई वॉज सेंग दट द मैसेज दट गोज थ्रू ऑन टी वी इज द कॉम्यूनल वन यू सडनली सेट डोंट यू आर नॉट पेंग अटेंशन टू दी अदर एटी परसेंट ना यू सेंग द पीपल सिटिंग इन फ्रंट आर नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट वॉट सेट ऑन टेलीविजन आंसरिंग टू डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन वन इज दैट कि इलेक्शन आर वन आर लूज ऑन कम्युनलिज्म दैट्स यूर पॉइंट एंड माई पॉइंट इज द डिलीवरी सो हाउ पीपल आर वोटिंग आई एम सेंग दैट एंड आई एम सेंग वॉट पीपल वॉट अबाउट रैलीज नाउ आई एम कमिंग टू दैट रैली यू आस मी वाई नेताज आर स्पेंडिंग टाइम दैट इज वॉट आई एम आंसरिंग आई एम अगेन नॉट सेंग कि रैली कर दिया कम्युनिकेट कर दिया तो आप जीत जाएंगे जीतेंगे तो केवल आप डिलीवरी पे जीतेंगे यार अदरवाइज लेकिन मैं ये कह रहा हूँ कि इफ रैलीज आर सिंपली फॉर फन एंड अ पिकनिक एज यू से फॉर पीपल जी बिल्कुल वाई बॉलो विद बिकॉज एक्चुअली दे डोंट चेंज द वे पीपल वोट because be, uh, leaders want to communicate but there are other ways of communicating why waste time and money on a rally that's the that's what i'm saying that's the corollary that's what i'm saying rally can be maximum maximum 5 lakh people that's the highest but whereas you are communicating your coverage through television social media etc is far more than this i would say more than 5 crore meaning 100 times more than the people Absolutely. who are sitting there absolutely but you don't need a rally to be on tv Politicians can be you, you don't. Course. Politicians can do brilliant speeches on television and still communicate to and, that. And the second second purpose of rally is not only the people. The most important their cadre, their cadre. They need to connect with the cadre as well. Unless I go, unless I go to a particular constituency, I am away with my own cadre base, my own. Karkatas. I want to end with one question. You may well be right. That at rallies people come for the picnic and the fun and the mahal, not people. really to listen to the speech, and therefore their presence at a rally is not really show of support for the party. Right. Oh, maze ke liye aaye, they're not showing their support. Yeah, yeah. But there have been a few elections where presence at a rally is actually directly show of support. Seventy-seven May. When Indira Gandhi didn't want people come to rallies and gate club lawns were filled, boat club lawns, that was a clear show of support. 84 में जब राजीव के रैली पे लाखों लोग आए थे इंदिरा के मरने के बाद दैट वॉज शो ऑफ सपोर्ट और मैं कहूँगा आपको 2016 में भी जब लाखों लोग आए थे मोदी साहब को सुनने इट वॉज शो ऑफ सपोर्ट और हो सकता है 2019 में भी दो उन्नीस की आपने बात की तब मेरी उम्र आठ साल की थी मैं भी रैली में गया था बींग एट ईयर 
old child i had attend the wedding but my objective and purpose attending the rally ki mujhe sirf four wheeler us samay tempo hota tha tempo ko dekhta papa mama jo aapko le gaye the went there to show their support yes wo, yes, wo yes picnic ke liye nahi gaye the nahi nahi us samay us samay to paisa milta hi nahi tha aur us samay aapko leader ko sunne ka aur dekhne ki koi opportunity nahi thi aur wohi cheez एटी और वही चीज एटी फोर में भी हुई जब right. राजीव जीते इंदिरा right. की सिंपति के पीछे बिल्कुल वांटेड टू शो सपोर्ट और मैं कह रहा हूं द सेम थिंग हैपन इन टू सिक्सटीन When people came to Modi's rallies in 2016, in huge numbers, they were showing support. Picnic clean, guys. So that was support. Bilkul. That's what I'm saying. Beyond a point, a cap. So there are three instances where at least presence at a rally is not a picnic; it's a show of support. Definitely, show of support is definitely there. And jab jab see, it's uh, it's. कोई भी एक चीज का कोई आंसर नहीं होता है जीत और हार के अंदर जैसे एक रेसिपी में इतने सारे इंग्रेडिएंट्स होते हैं वैसे जीत और हार में भी बहुत सारे इंग्रेडिएंट्स होते हैं तो जब रैली में आज की डेट में जब हम कोई भी बात करते हैं तो वो एक मेजॉरिटी सत्तर अस्सी परसेंट जो चीज होती है हम उसको लेके कोट करते हैं दस परसेंट तो एक्सेप्शन हमेशा बिल्कुल एंड दैट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वे टू एंड देर आर मल्टीपल रीजन एज यू सेड फॉर विनिंग एंड लूजिंग वी आर आइडेंटिफाइंग वन and talking about that in focus delivery delivery as you say is the most important i hope you're right it would be the rational way for people to vote i hope i hope the questioning that i've put to you that communalism polarization hindu nationalism determines an outcome is the wrong way of judging elections and we'll know we'll know when the bengal results come out <laughs> I thank you Pradeep ji for this interview for this vigorous conversation and I, I encourage people to go out and get this book it's eye opening even if like me you have serious questions to ask about its conclusion thank you very much indeed my pleasure thank you for it